It's been a while since I did a video. This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. I got a package from Ch -ch 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 China. And here we have a set. It's a ballistic missile carrier. DF-41, one, two, three, six pieces. I got this from AliExpress for about $44. So the package open and we have bags, 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 the instruction book and stickers that are crumpled. Stickers are okay here, but on this side, is that even stickable? We'll find out. Anyways, not sure what brand this is. It is Yong Lexing. And how many minifigures? We got six. It's a two-in-one. Cool. You got to build that. Let's see the back. And there's your two-in-one. Main build. Secondary build. Which I will only do the main build. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this one. My apologies. But I'll just build this one. Flip through the instruction book. And there will be no... What do you call that now? Speed build? I'm just gonna build it and continue on. So let's get started. So I'm about halfway now, bag four out of bag eight. And this is what it looks like. So far the blocks are decent. Not too good, but good enough to hold. And let's continue on. And here's the set partially complete. I did not put the stickers yet, so you got to see what it looks like without the stickers. It looks all right. Um, definitely, I could see the stickers will improve the looks of this a lot, the camo, but it doesn't look so bad. Before I put the stickers, you can see quite a bit of scratches on the plastic. So I guess from shipping, it just got bounced around a lot in the package. Or maybe from the uh, factory, who knows? But anyways, let's put the stickers. And now the set is complete. Here is your missile truck with six minifigures and a laptop. Here are your extra pieces. Well, extra pieces I got on the set. And then here are the weapons I did not take from the plastic, uh, whatever you call these things. But anyways, let's take a look. Have a machete, grenade, and some firearms. Have a shovel, handgun, sniper rifle, another shovel, pistol, and whatnot. The six minifigures have nice printing on them. However, like a lot of these uh, companies, the plastic is not up to par, but nonetheless, the printing is good. Also, each minifigure has a double print so on the back there's a different facial expression here they are again without their helmets now let's take a look at the missile truck so this thing is huge 54 studs long actually more because this sticks out but from this point to this point 54 studs long and 12 studs wide the body but then you have these sticking out which will make it even wider anyways let's do a 360 take a look at this big behemoth and you have two four six eight wheels on each side so a total of 16 wheels and all these stickers i used uh, matter of fact let's take a look at the sticker sheet there's a few stickers um, that were duplicate, like this here. Um, not sure where that went. Um, these stickers here are just too too big to fit on the side. So this is a one by three. Those stickers are one by four. What's cool? I like these uh, hubcaps. So let's take it out. That's what the wheel looks like. So really nice. Or, uh, something different oh and by the way 
this piece here I'm missing and I got this piece instead. So I guess they sent me the wrong piece and still works. We got here and we have stabilizers on each side. We have one here, one on the back and two on the other side. So a total of four of these stabilizers and you can bring them down. On the back, you have a couple ladders that go up and they're held pretty good securely. A couple lights and this little piece here keeps coming off. These really don't hold any function. I mean, you can open them. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that storage space because I'll show you later on the other side. But anyways, take a look in. The doors can open on the sides, just the front, but these cannot. So let's take a look at the main function. Of course, this can go up and you have this piece latch onto any part here. You could stand it up almost completely uh, up, but any more, it'll just fall back. So I have not tested out yet. Let's take the top off. And you do have a missile inside. Nope, it broke off. So apparently I'm trying to pull the entire missile out, but this is all I get. So yeah, the missile goes all the way down to the bottom, which I'm not even gonna attempt to grab. So anyways, this is what it looks like without the missile, the inside. And like I said earlier, not much of a storage space pretty hollow and let's take a look at the bottom it's the bottom you'll notice too that here you have somewhat steering but nothing to uh, steer it with so you just have to use your fingers before we check the interior the cab let's see if the wheels move all right and all of them turn yes Let's try uh, turning this and barely turns. It's gonna be a very tight turning radius or a wide turning radius. And on here, you can open this to reveal an engine compartment. This off and this is what it looks like inside. This side you have a steering wheel. However, there's no room for your minifigure. Let's see if it actually fits. So it appears there's really no room to put your minifigure because this is in the way, but I think there's a way to fix that. So I moved the slope piece forward and the steering wheel. So minifigs in turn also move forward. Let's see if they fit with the roof on. Looks promising. And yes, minifigures fit in each side of the cab. Awesome. However, the door doesn't close all the way, but that's a fine sacrifice for me. Anyways, taking a look at the detail more, we have mirror here and for detail, we have hockey sticks on the side. That's pretty cool. One thing about this set are the stickers, really, I say low quality. Um, the white part doesn't really look white like it is in the picture. It's supposed to be more whiter, but here it's barely noticeable. You see the DF-41 on there, but on the picture, you can really see it. So time to conclude this review. The... Uh, Building techniques on this thing were not too complex, fun to build, but the plastic themselves, the pieces, feel a lot like Kogo 
So I'm not sure if this brand here is related to Kogo or something new, but not the best building block material and not the worst. I've seen worse, but Enlighten is definitely better than this and Sembo block, uh, better quality. You saw in my video, I had one piece that was malformed or um, deformed. That was it though. Everything else was pretty decent. And if you look carefully, let's see. If... So earlier, some of these pieces were falling apart. But all in all, this is a pretty solid build. I just have to say the stickers are horrible. Um, if this was white here and or even the stickers were just better quality, I would you know, say the set is, is really good, but I'd say the set is okay. So for 1,236 pieces, six minifigures, this is about $50 average. I got it for $43, and so it's not really that expensive. And that came off. So is the set worth it? It just depends on what you're looking for. For me, it is because I could always use the instructions to build it in LEGO, um, which you can pretty much most of these pieces you can build in LEGO. Um, but all in all, the uh, the camo and just the colors make it unique to, uh, to a building set, in my opinion. Not bad. Not a bad set at all. It's Brickhead Boy. Thanks for watching.